In practice it exercise 4.5 pow, we need to write a method named pow that accepts a base and an exponent as parameters and returns the base raised to the given power. And then we're given an example and we are not allowed to use math.pow in our solution. We need to assume that the base and exponents are non-negative, so that's pretty good as well. To start this, we're going to have a public static and then it's returning an integer. We're going to have an int and then the name, which is pow for this method. And then inside of here, we are taking the parameters int base and int pow. The three is our base and the pow is our four in this example. And then in here, we are going to, since we cannot use math.pow, the first thing that I can think of would be to use a for loop. We're gonna have a for, and then we're gonna set int a equal to zero, and then we're gonna run this as long as a is less than our power, and then we're gonna do an a plus plus in here. That way we can eventually break out of our loop. So now we're gonna have our entry and closing bra braces into our loop, and now we gotta multiply our base. So before our for loop, we need to make a new value to actually store this in. We're gonna say int sol for solution, and we're gonna initialize this to one. We're gonna initialize it to one because we're gonna multiply into this. We're gonna say sol times equal, and this will be to the base, and then that should be it for the solution. So we're just going to return sol. Submitting this, we've passed all eight tests. So how this works is it takes a integer base, an integer power. So we're gonna use this example, three and four. We're setting our solution equal to one. That way the first time we do this, we're multiplying it by itself. So the first time we go in this for loop, for int a is equal to zero, a has to be less than power, and then we're gonna increment a every single time. So the first time we're in this for loop, our a is equal to zero, our solution is equal to one. So we're gonna set solution times equal to the base. Well, solution, which is one times three, which is the base, is equal to three. And then we're gonna go through this again, then it's gonna be three, which is in our solution, times our base, which is three, and that's gonna be nine for our solution. And then if we do this again, our base is three, times our nine solution, and that's gonna give us 27. And then again, till it gets us 81. The reason why we're incrementing A is because we need a counter for our power. And that is how you do this problem.